Hey there, Blue Nation. This is London Fan News bringing you the freshest updates on our beloved Chelsea, the kind of content only true fans understand. First things first, I want everyone to smash that like button below. Do you think we can hit the goal of 200 likes today? I'm sure we can because we have the most passionate fan base in the Premier League. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do it now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming news. Every like and subscription makes a huge difference. Get ready because today I've got some explosive news that will make you jump out of your chair. Guys, hold on tight because this is hot. Our beloved Chelsea is in contact with none other than Pedro Lima, the 17-year-old Brazilian prodigy shining at Sport Recife. This information comes from journalist Fabrizio Romano, the one who never gets it wrong. According to Romano, the Blues have been in direct contact with the young right-back's entourage. It's true that Chelsea likes Pedro Lima and I can confirm there has been contact with his team, but we're still waiting to see how things will evolve in the coming weeks, he said in his daily briefing column. This shows that the interest is real and we're in the race for this promising talent. Pedro Lima gained prominence with his performances for the Brazilian national team during last year's Under-17 World Cup. He started all five of Brazil's matches in the tournament and impressed everyone with his skill and maturity on the pitch. Since then, he's been a pillar at Sport Recife. This season, he has already played 25 matches for the club and last Tuesday, he played the full 90 minutes in the 0-A-0 draw against Nautico. This kid is unstoppable and just getting started. Now fans, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this potential signing? Leave your comments below if you think Pedro Lima would be a good addition to our Chelsea. If you've made it this far, congratulations. It shows that you're a true, passionate fan. So once again, don't forget to leave that cheeky like. Our forward, Christopher Nkunku, who had a challenging season in 2024, is not going anywhere this summer. That's right, Fabrizio Romano, the transfer guru, confirmed that there is no chance of Nkunku leaving Chelsea. Let's dive deeper into this story. Nkunku, who joined from RB Leipzig, was set to be one of Chelsea's marquee signings, but injuries hampered his performance. Romano highlighted that despite reports of potential offers and interest from other clubs, Nkunku is seen as a crucial player for Chelsea's plans. The club is determined to give him a chance to show his true value with a full, injury-free pre-season. And Kunku is also committed to giving his best for the Blues. According to Sky Sports Germany journalist Philipp Hinze, several clubs showed interest in Nkunku before this summer's transfer window. However, it seems the Frenchman will stay at Chelsea. After shelling out £52 million to sign him from Leipzig last year, it wouldn't make sense for the Blues to sell the forward now without giving him a fair chance to showcase his skills. So fans, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about the decision to keep Nkunku in the team? Leave your comments below if you believe he will shine next season in Chelsea's jersey. Guys, Chelsea's main target for this transfer window is the shining star, Michael Olise. He's on the Blues radar and sources from Guide Me Sport have confirmed that Olise is Chelsea's top objective this summer with the club already laying the groundwork to secure this signing. You remember last summer when Chelsea activated Olise's release clause, which was around 35 million pounds? Despite this, he ended up signing a new contract with Palace, increasing his release clause value. Now, with renewed interest and the Blues prepared to invest, the negotiations are hotter than ever. Even with strong competition, Chelsea believes they have an ace up their sleeve. Olise's younger brother, Richard, is already at the Cobham Academy. This could be a decisive factor in convincing Michael to join the Blues. Chelsea is confident they can win this battle for Elise's signing, especially since they had agreed on personal terms with him last season. Now, with the right project and the possibility of a promising future 
under Enzo Maresca's leadership, Olise could very well be the missing piece to bring the Blues back to the top. So fans, what do you think about this potential signing? Leave your comments below if you believe Michael Olise would be a good addition to our Chelsea. Let's go together because Chelsea is our passion and our voice is heard. Until next time, folks, and let's hope this signing goes through. Keep the blue flag flying high.